Oh, since you're asking, I would love a Happy Meal. It's time to get happy. Let's get the party started by taking a look at some of the coolest McDonald's Happy Meal toys of all time. While taste is definitely subjective, it's safe to say that these cute and charming toys were beloved by kids. Some adults collected them too. So let's have a blast with the top 10 best McDonald's Happy Meal toys, part two. That's it? <sighs> a Happy Meal? Halloween McNugget Buddies were cute. Halloween? <laughs> Every year when autumn rolls around, kids and a lot of grown-ups start to get excited about Halloween. Halloween makes it so easy for kids of all ages to bring a little make-believe into their lives. McDonald's honored the thrilling spirit of this spooky special occasion by offering some hilarious seasonal McNugget Buddies. Halloween McNugget Buddies were cute little plastic toys that looked just like chicken nuggets. There have been other McNugget buddies that weren't in disguise for Halloween. Why are you dressed so scary? It's Halloween. In the case of the Halloween ones, though, there was something extra. The cartoonish toy McNuggets were all decked out in Halloween finery, including witch and vampire costumes. One little McNugget buddy was in full disguise, thanks to a ghost costume that concealed everything but the eyes. These toys were really cute, so it's no surprise that they were so popular. Offered back in the early 90s, these charming Happy Meal toys were so collectible. The Halloween costumes made these toys special, along with the comical expressions on the faces of the toy McNuggets. These are McNuggets that didn't get eaten up, they were played with or displayed. These little toy McNuggets dressed in Halloween costumes are truly timeless Halloween decorations. My mother made my first Halloween costume. You know what she did? She put a colander on my head. Lego movie cups feature bold graphics. And welcome to the Lego Mo ah! In 2014, McDonald's brought out a range of vibrant and colorful cups with logos, graphics, and characters from the Lego Movie. Kids went wild. It's always more fun for kids to drink out of fun cups rather than basic drinking vessels. These bold movie cups were Happy Meal toys that were practical. Parents could wash them and reuse them. A series of cups were available, featuring some adored characters from the movie, including Emmett, Unikitty, and Batman. I'm Batman. McDonald's has a long-standing tradition of offering kids movie cups with their meals, including Disney movie cups from animated classics such as Snow White and The Lion King. Kids tried to collect all of the movie cups from the Lego movie, but there were eight in all, and while some kids may not have been allowed to consume that many Happy Meals, many kids did their best to collect them all. So you're trying to put Lego into a system? Interesting. Chippendale Rescue Rangers were adorable. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? A few months ago, Disney announced that it would be making a live-action feature film based on its popular Chippendale characters. Fans of these cute cartoon chipmunks rejoiced, and some fans may have thought back to the good old days when they played with Chippendale Rescue Rangers from McDonald's. These hilarious Happy Meal toys were awesome because they were real action toys. The characters were in little vehicles with real plastic wheels. These toys date back to 1989. They are vintage Happy Meal toys that put smiles on a lot of kids' faces. The toys featured characters from an animated TV series called Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Hey, let's go make our own! Come on, pal! In the cartoon TV series, Chip and Dale were crime fighters who fought baddies all over the world. Chip's Whirlycopter was the first Happy Meal toy released. It had wheels as well as helicopter blades. These Happy Meal toys were safe for kids aged three and up. With these toys, kids could really use their imaginations. They could roll the toys on the ground or move them through the air, as though they were in flight. The little characters inside of the wheeled flying machines were very endearing. Probably a lot of kids played with them while they were watching Chippendale Rescue Rangers. When it comes to our friendship, the sky's the limit. Hot Wheels cars were so classic. Hot Wheels to the rescue! McDonald's has thrilled kids by offering Hot Wheels toy cars in its Happy Meals, including 2015's Team Hot Wheels collection. The Team Hot Wheels collection included six toy cars that came from a cartoon called Team Hot Wheels The Origin of Awesome. Each car had a wind-up feature, so they would move forward on their own after kids or patient parents wound them up. These cars didn't come with stickers that would allow kids to 
customize them, but they were still a lot of fun. The decals were already on the cars when they were put in plastic wrappers and then included in Happy Meals. Some Hot Wheels cars have become very collectible. You collect those toy cars that I played with when I was a kid myself? There's a market for the rarer cars in pristine condition. In the case of Hot Wheels from McDonald's Happy Meals, many of the toy cars ended up a little damaged because they've gotten so much love. They've been played with a lot and it shows. Some people may have toy Hot Wheels from McDonald's which are still in the plastic bag packaging. These mint condition toys may be worth something, especially if they're offered as a complete set. The best way to determine the resale value of a McDonald's Happy Meal toy is to check online auction sites. See how much people are paying for McDonald's Happy Meal toys that you own. Some Happy Meal toys, such as completed Inspector Gadget figures, fetch a pretty penny at online and offline auctions. Take back! Me too! I'm out! Sold! Super Mario toys were beloved. It's a me, Mario! Woohoo! People absolutely love Super Mario. This cute cartoon plumber is a video game legend. This is why Super Mario Brothers McDonald's Happy Meal toys were so mesmerizing. These iconic Happy Meal toys were offered during the 90s. In 2017, McDonald's brought them back in an updated format. The 2017 toys were wonderful. There was Mario and Luigi and Princess Peach, as well as Yoshi. Yoshi, Bowser, Invincible Mario, a red shell, and a one-up mushroom. Plenty of grown-ups who loved playing Super Mario were spotted ordering Happy Meals to get their hands on these fun and collectible toys. Hey, it's Mario! The toys were fun for children to play with and also provided joy to adults. McDonald's has also offered Mario Kart Happy Meal toys. In addition, there was a Take the Mario Challenge promotion, whereby kids got Super Mario-themed toys and pieces of paper with challenges written on them. The Take the Mario Challenge was designed to get kids moving outside. Since Mario is as beloved as ever, it won't be surprising if the Super Mario-themed Happy Meal toys keep on on coming in the future. Mario, you came for me. Halloween pails were whimsical. Trick or treat, treat. smell my feet. Halloween pails with cookie cutter lids were fun Happy Meal toys that were safe for kids ages one and up. These safety tested toys were also really cute. Green, orange, and white designs were available. The orange style looked like a carved pumpkin, while the green design resembled a witch. The white pail looked like a happy ghost. This Happy Meal promotion started in the early 90s. What was fun about the pails was the fact that they came with Happy Meal food inside. Later on, they could be used to hold Halloween candy. <laughs> These pails were versatile. They also looked great when the three different designs were displayed in a group. McDonald's Happy Meal toys are often ingenious. Throughout the years, the fast food giant has come up with some real winners, including these amazing pails. The pails were spooky without being scary to little kids. Some people don't realize that McDonald's is the number one distributor of toys worldwide. McDonald's ensures that kids have access to creative toys that spark their imaginations. Imagination. Tiny Toons flip cars were comical. Not tiny! These comical Happy Meal toys were available in 1991. Some of the toys are now considered rare by collectors. Every one of these toys consisted of a car with a couple of Tiny Toons animated TV series characters inside. Each week, a new car was introduced. There was a TV ad for the Happy Meal toys, which featured the TV show's characters, Elmira, Babs, Plucky, Hampton, and Buster. The characters were relaxing in a car, along with a boy and the boy's dad. In the ad, Plucky boldly ordered a hundred Happy Meals. This was a mistake, as the boy's dad wanted just one Happy Meal. I was just wondering, were, were you serious about that Happy Meal? This cute ad drove demand for these whimsical toys. The original toys were safe for kids aged three and up. McDonald's wanted younger kids to have fun too, so they offered a couple of variations for kids three and younger, which were versions of Go-Go Dodo and Plucky Duck. Tiny Toons were cute and active characters that really appealed to children. Maybe you remember the song from the TV series? It was really catchy. If you try, you may be able to 
find even the rarest Tiny Toon Happy Meal toys online. There were four toys for kids three and older, plus the two toys for younger kids, so the entire collection had five toys. The toys for kids aged three and up were a lot of fun to play with. Good for you, not being bound by the recommended age. Barbie dolls with brushable hair. I'm tour guide Barbie! McDonald's has offered a lot of Barbie-themed toys over the years. The miniature Barbie dolls are always a big hit. One set of these mini dolls featured hair that kids could brush. The hair wasn't hard plastic. A quick search on online auction sites shows a lot of these dolls for sale, some of which have a delightful vintage feel. If you love Barbie and you're feeling nostalgic, you may want to get your hands on some of these older Happy Meal toys. They'll look great on display. In 1993, McDonald's came out with a wildly popular Barbie Hot Wheels promotion. They were available just for a limited time, and people really wanted to collect them all. The 1993 dolls were the ones with real hair. It was a ponytail Barbie. They're is a good collector's market for Barbie dolls and other Barbie paraphernalia, so Barbie Happy Meal toys are probably worth hanging on to. These toys tend to get played with a lot, so finding ones in perfect condition is challenging for collectors. The Happy Meal toys that get the highest prices these days are Thai Beanie Babies, Fry Kids that came with fun accessories, Muppet Babies, Power Rangers, and Barbies. We're not talking big bucks here, we're talking 10 or 11 bucks in most cases, though prices vary depending on rare and condition. You definitely have a number one ponytail Barbie here, and it's pretty impressive. Mighty Duck Pucks were so cool. What? 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 A group of seven Mighty Ducks pucks surfaced in 1997, when Happy Meals were more popular than ever before. These cute pucks featured burly ducks who wore hockey helmets, hockey gloves, and Anaheim Mighty Ducks hockey jerseys. Kids entertained themselves by sliding the pucks around on floors in their homes. These toys looked fun and had great play value. Ducks featured on the pucks were characters from Mighty Ducks the Animated Series, which first aired during autumn of 1996. The cartoon's inspiration came from the Mighty Ducks movies. My son is a hawk, not a duck. Which were live action films. Of course, the tough and rugged ducks on the pucks were also inspired by the real life NHL hockey team. Today, the NHL team is called the Anaheim Ducks. The Disney cartoon element now appears on the team's alternate jerseys. Toy pucks inspired by the Mighty Ducks got kids excited and sometimes got kids moving, so they were definitely beloved. Gary Ratowski, Hockey Cup. Garfield vehicles were in demand. Get him, Garfield! Get him, John. Garfield was really the original grumpy cat. He was a cartoon feline who wanted the freedom to laze and eat lasagna. He had his gripes, as do most of us. Occasionally, he'd spring into action, along with his faithful canine sidekick, Odie. Garfield Happy Meal toys were very appealing. McDonald's released toy Garfields riding big wheels style bikes, skateboards, and scooters. One toy featured Garfield and Odie on a red scooter. The rule is you can't look hilarious on this motor scooter. These toys were released released in the 1980s, so they are really a blast from the past. There are still plenty of Garfield fans around, so it's easy to find these plastic toys at online auction platforms. You can grab a cluster of them for around 10 bucks, depending on availability, which varies. Clearly, plastic toys from McDonald's have the power to captivate children. They also serve as pop culture snapshots. If you put a curated collection of these toys in a time capsule, you get a good sense of what was hot and happening in pop culture during different Different years. In 2019, a variety of exciting options have been offered, including Beyblade Burst and Peanut Snoopy Discovery Space Toys. Zip it, Happy Meal! Get yourself to a McDonald's and grab these toys. Help yourself to more great videos and tap that screen. Checking us out for the first time? Then show us some love and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.